everybody welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl benedictor and today i'm just going to give you guys a quick and simple tutorial on how you can create your own youtube thumbnail just to make your youtube look more creative appealing so people can view your your video yeah and before we get started please can you kindly subscribe to my youtube channel like share and comment and let's get started okay guys so like i was saying if you want to get this appealing and good looking thumbnail just go to pixel art go to all photos and then click on the picture that you want to edit or like choose to edit then you go to cut out and then in person you go to restore and zoom in the picture and get every single thing that you you want to be in the picture so just zoom in go to every corner of the picture and then try to you know get everything then let's just say you make a mistake and you want to take it out or raise it there is an eraser button there that you can use to erase this from the picture yeah so now i notice that i'm done and i've got all the parts that i need i go to save and i go to next and i go to save and download the photo so it saves directly to your camera roll you can decide to save it in your picture or don't save it. So now we are done. We're going to go to a new app called CapCut. We click on new project. Then you select the picture or the background that you need. So now I'm going to click on overlay, then add photo. Then I add the picture that I just did on Pixera and put it right where I want it to be. So I already had pictures that already edit it from pixel art so now i'm going to upload the pictures that i want to use and add them to the picture that i have right now so i noticed that this picture is the best to fit with the background and the picture that i have right now i'm going to take the other one off because i realized that it was it was overlapping and i didn't want that so i'm going to delete it and bring it back just to fit it so now i noticed that if it perfectly so i'm gonna put it in the right size that i need and crop it if i have to if not then i'm just gonna leave it so what i'm gonna do right now is i'm going to upload a new picture to make it like the third one yeah so i'm going to click on this picture and i'm going to adjust it to make it fit perfectly with the other ones that i have right on there so right now I'm just going to put them in the right places, the right sizes. The background, just like that. So now I'm done with it. So I'm going to click on text and I'm going to type get ready with me. Because that's the only thing I could think of. Yeah. And now I'm going, to, I'm going to click on style and click the color that I want it to be. You can select any color that you want. After that, you're going to click on font, which is going to be the style you want the font to look like, all the typing, all the writing to look like. So I chose this one because it kind of matches with the background, you know, it's giving the vibe that it needs to get, you get what I mean? <laughs> yeah, and now I, I love butterflies, so I'm just trying to spice it up a little bit and put them in the background, you know, as you can tell. You know yeah it's giving what it needs to give and i save it and it saves right to my camera roll <clears throat> and i'm gonna take a screenshot of it and this is what it looks like so now the first edit is done we are going to move on to the short and simple one the the one i just did was really long but this one is going to be really short and simple yeah so watch it out and here we are again using the same app yeah you can use pixie art to create a lot of things so now you go to collage and then you click on the photos that you want to use you know yeah i took pictures of the things that i wanted to use you know i put them together be creative yo just be creative that's all you need to be so i took pictures of the things that i wanted to do yeah just for this tutorial and you can you go in to click on youtube to give you the size that youtube videos are you know meant to be 
I realized I didn't like the style, so you can go to layouts and then put in the style that you want. Then the next thing you're going to do is click on the pictures that you want to use and adjust them or crop them to the size that you want it to be. Then the next thing I'm going to do is go to bother and then take the white thing off. Yeah, and then crop it again. Now you can click on next. That means you are done and download just like we did for the last one. Now we're going to the same app, CapCut. I click on the photo that I just saved and I click on stickers. I'm just trying to look for the stickers that I was trying to match for this and I found Dearly Live and a check mark that means, you know, yeah, you got me, yeah. So the next thing I'm looking for is another sticker that is going to match with the style that I'm trying to create. I found this sticker that says steady with me. That is exactly what I was looking for. So now I realized the font, I didn't like it. So I click on add text. I click on add text and then I'm going to type the same thing, steady with me. So now I'm going to try and figure a way to put it exactly on the sticker you go on me because i like the the sticker i just didn't like the the color so i'm trying to make it um like a different color so i go to effects and i click on the color that i want i chose this one because it matches with the background i go to next and save it and this is what you get after yeah thank you for watching my video see you next time and bye